Hi, I'm Stephanie from Love Jersey Girl Eats. If you have kids, then you have yarn that looks like this. Well, it's time to get this all straightened out and start cutting for our mini yarn hats. Ready? Let's do this. Woohoo! Finally, I found the end. Now I can start cutting. You're going to cut 15 inch pieces of yarn and you'll need about 36 pieces for one yarn hat. Now that we have our yarn cut, you're gonna take a piece, fold it in half so the two ends meet, and then we're gonna take our paper towel roll that you cut into one inch pieces, and we are gonna start looping it through the paper towel roll as shown, and pulling it through the other loop, and pull it a little tightly, even it up, and push it together, and we're just gonna repeat this process until all the yarn is gone. You guys are doing great. Just keep up the good work. Now that we have the paper towel roll fully covered in the yarn, we're gonna comb it out a little bit just to get it even, and then we're gonna start twisting it and pushing it ever so slightly up through the other side uh, without going completely up. And then you can see that the hat doesn't have the pom-pom like this. It looks super cute too. But if you do like the pom-pom, then push it completely through, comb it out a little bit, and then we are going to tie that end together to start creating the pom-pom top. We are going to take a separate piece of string, maybe about three inches or so, and we are going to tie it around the top of the yarn hat into a double knot so that it stays in place. And you can keep the pom-pom loose like this if you like it loose on the top, which is super cute too, or we can make it a little bit more stiff by cutting the top of that yarn to make it more of like that signature pom-pom shape. Oh, so you just cut a little bit on the top. And we're gonna use these scraps later, so don't think that you're wasting all this yarn because you could, if you like it this short, you could just do about 14 inch yarn pieces in the beginning, but we're not gonna waste it, I promise. Now, to fill it to look more full, you could either put a cotton ball in there, to, as you could see, or you can also crumple up a piece of tissue paper into a ball, if that's what you have, and you could put it up there to keep it full. And you just kind of separate the pieces so you don't see the white anymore. Or, where you're gonna take those scrap pieces and we are going to make a mini pom-pom to stuff up there so that we have no waste left over. Now, if you don't like how thick this rim is, you can always make it smaller. It's up to you. Now it's time to make the mini pom-pom. Now we are going to get like a three inch piece of string, put it all on top, and we are going to tie it together ever so carefully into a double knot so that it stays in place. Some of the small pieces might fall out, but we're trying to be less wasteful. Um, so you could just leave it like this and put it right in the hat to make it fuller. Or to make a true pom-pom, you can make it more evenly by cutting some of the pieces that are a little bit longer all around the pom-pom. And you don't even have to put this in the hat. If you wanna make garland with the hat, and the pom-pom, you can do that. So you can do like hat, pom-pom, hat, or you know, two hats or two pom-poms, whatever pattern you wanna use. We are completely done with the yarn hat. It was so much fun. They are so super cute. You can use them as gift tags, wine bottle toppers, hats for dolls or just for decorations around the house. I hope you enjoyed this craft and you come back for more crafty ideas on Love Jersey Girl Eats. Like and subscribe.